So we're down to the last eight. The competition you sense rapidly heading towards its big climax. A dash for the finishing line, the showpiece final. Welcome to our live coverage on quarter-final day. It is good to have you with us. And you can see that the atmosphere is building very nicely. Super noise, grand level of expectation, and that is only rising as we head towards kickoff time. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio dos Regal, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. So this is where we're up to in the quarterfinals. Already plenty enough to get the juices flowing. Well, look, when you reach this stage of the competition, you begin to think you can go the distance. Now, the big characters in either dressing room will be stressing the need to find whatever it takes to get through. Has everyone got the substance and character to make it happen? These are the questions that both of these sides have to answer today, and one side will obviously do it that bit better. Well, we're on the way. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Well, I'm going to go for the little wriggler, that is Raheem Sterling. Uh, his small frame and, and pace gives him a real advantage over bigger, slower defenders. And his turning sharpness is another very tricky part of his game, and he's a handful. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. Sterling, lovely bit of skill. Plenty waiting in the middle. De Bruyne! That's a cracking strike, and it may have stung the palms of the keeper. Gundogan, De Bruyne, now it's Sterling. Driving on, he could shoot here. Alan gets rid without sophistication. De Bruyne, back into the middle, Sterling. And the shot! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. He's got through. It's Calvert-Lewin! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Calvert-Lewin simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. And here's Sterling. He's come loose. Coleman did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. And it's Aguero. He's left his man. Now, can he capitalize? He's had a shot. Oh, what a wonderful stop. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And that has been clubbed away. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application. And Come on, Lewin! leap it's a goal the breakthrough strike great corner and he did the rest well look it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header and if you get it slightly wrong then you'll struggle but that was beautifully met it really was
Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, registering that crucial first goal has now given them more incentive and, and motivation to take this on. Ferran Torres pings it out wide. Sterling. Look at the defender bombing forward. Aguero. Aguero has a go! Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Tries to get it forward quickly. João Cancelo does well there. Alert. De Bruyne. Zinchenko. Nicely measured pass. Everton have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width. Goes for goal! It's in! They have done it! They have their equaliser! Manchester City are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. Bernard takes the long option. Ah! Rodri. Ferran Torres. Now it's Aguero. And here's Sterling. Aguero, chance! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. That's a real shame, Peter, because it was beautifully worked. Took the defense out of the picture, but he'll be in no hurry to watch the replay. This possibly the last play of the half. Has a hit! Another chance! Dina gets it away. There's the whistle for half time. What well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. Any strong opinions on the first half? It's been a. Second period then underway. Manchester City playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. He's pinged one through here. Calvert Lewin. Calvert has a hit. Oh, denied brilliantly. Well, that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage. Well read, he sorted that out. Sterling displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. You have to admire commitment like that because... Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Mina. And it's Coleman. Gomez. Gomez goes looking. De Bruyne, Rodri, Gundogan, a real chance to break, he can get that clear, big chance, corner, oh, now some movement on the bench and we are going to see a change. 
Oh, well played, he saw that coming. Hoists it forward. He's been bundled over, that is a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. Yeah, uh, he may feign to shoot and just play it into the box. Good no one! There are a few waiting for it. Hoist it high. That intervention was very necessary. And it's played forward. And the break is on. It's a loose ball. And that's a goal kick. So there's going to be another change here. Ferran Torres is being withdrawn here, but he certainly made his mark. Well, has he done enough since his goal? Is the feeling that he's lost his appetite for another? It's difficult to be sure exactly what the thinking is, but his race is certainly run now. Tries to dink it in. Bernardo Silva goes up and over. And here's Sterling. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Substitution on the field. Number 23. Coming on to replace him is number five. The wall stands firm and it's bounced out. Crowd calling for him to shoot. Manchester City showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Well positioned to make that interception. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Forward it goes. Steered forward. Laporte does well to read it and intercepts. De Bruyne. Gabriel Jesus. Here it is now, surely. Shot a goal! It's broken loose! Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Chance to shoot! You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. And it's Bernardo Silva. Gabriel's hits one! Oh, it's in! Late in the day! This could well be it! Well, those two have a lovely understanding, and they executed the one-two impeccably to set up the goal. Having turned the game on its head, now can they hold out? There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. Gundogan. Gabriel Jesus. He's in! Goes down, but nothing given. Keane plays it forward. Laporte. And that's it. 
So now do you believe you have to just two more steps to glory. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Manchester City have turned a, a win by one goal into round two, and they seem to have a personality that could win.